Hi guys, it's Rob from The Lost Bricks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and follow me on my Lego collecting and investment journey. So recently I went to Argos because they had some amazing sale prices on quite a lot of Lego sets ready for Easter. So I got some ones which are unusually in ready to ship boxes and obviously they're the famous loose boxes where we got to check them and make sure they're not damaged in any way. So let's have a look at the big boxes first of all. Okay, so the first set we bought is this one. So it's the Marvel Amazing Spider-Man, the 3D artwork. So there you go. So it's a really, really nice set with the logo Amazing Spider-Man in the corner with a spider web and the 3D effect. The only thing I don't like it about that, it looks like you got a frisbee as a shoulder. There you go. It could put a little bit more thought into that a little bit. But I mean, that is amazing. It's as if Spider-Man is actually coming through the frame. So this came as you've seen in a box, which is really unusual. You normally just send them loose where they don't have a lot of damage. But as you can see this box is in really, really good condition. No damage at all. So it's retailed for 170 pounds. Which is quite expensive, you know it was a big set. With the spiders, but I got the third off. Check my notes for hundred and thirteen pounds fifty three. But I used a five pound marketing voucher, which took it down to hundred and eight pounds thirty three. So as you can see, nearly sixty pound saving, which is really really good. So on to the next set. Here we go. It says Hogwarts Castle and Grounds from Harry Potter. So showing all the different aspects of the different movies. So you've got, you've got like the Chamber of Secrets. You've got Fort Anglia. You've got all the different areas as you can see. So it's quite a heavy box as well. It's got Hogwarts Castle on the ground. There you go. So this is very similar to the architecture set where you actually got on the black 1x8 logo piece whereas on the other ones it have Trafalgar Square and things so we've got Hogwarts Castle this one <coughs> so it comes with the architect gold figure excuse me in the back so it's retails for £150 and I've got a third door for £100 but I use complete savings what I talked about before so I buy a gift card with a face value of £100 and it costs £80 so I have a £20 saving to use on this set and also I had a £5 marketing voucher as well so my final price was £75 so £150 so instead of being a third off as Argos was advertising that is pretty much half price but also using the complete savings I use it for all the purchases from Argos I get 10% back as well in a money value minus the back them back. So that's a really really good extra added bonus. Okay so the next set we bought was this set. So this is a 3 in one 31147. You see I bought quite a lot of these already. I think it's a really nice set. It's small but it's very very nice. We've got a vintage type camera. There you go with a carry handle strap. You can also make turn it out. A vintage TV and a camera recorder. So I think it's really clever with the film you put it into the camera and you can see all the different bring the torch. You can see all the different pictures on it, like a giraffe. Looks like you've been on there at the safari out there. So these little creator sets, three in ones, these retail for 19 sorry, 18 pounds, 17 pounds, 99. But I had a deal on and they had two for 20 pounds. There you go. There's the next one. We actually picked up 10 of these. So just put them bigger. So again, using the marketing voucher, for every £40 I spend, I have £5 off, so I've done a couple of separate transactions. And there you go, there's the 10. So there. Now. And obviously, we know it from Argos. Because 
you got that with it, it's a little sticker, you stick on every single box. So obviously all these are loose, so I have to check every single one of them. And um, believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe guys, but the 10 of them are in really good condition. Normally you find one little bit damaged, or you might even be really unlucky and have a big massive hole in the set. Okay, so the next set I picked up is this one here. So this is a Star Wars Princess here, the Bush Helmet. It's aimed at the 18 plus and it's set number 73, sorry, 75351 for 670 pieces and it's part of the 40th anniversary for the Jedi Returns. So of all the helmets, this is probably one of my least favourite ones to buy, but I still think it's going to be popular. It's a more unusual one, it's all brown. You've got the front, Princess Uriya Bush logo plaque. And there you go, you can see it back of it. So you can see this box, again, it's got a sticker on it from Argos. But it's got a couple of little nicks and little knots they installed them. So this set retails for £60, but I've got a deal on where there's £40, a third off. But again, I use a marketing voucher, so it took my buying price down to £35. So not only did I get one, I actually picked up six. Three. It's a bit high, but not bad. And this one, I left this one to last to show you. There you go, see the top of it? Looks like it was sticking on it. And they put another box on top and it's taking the paint away from the box. So it's minimum damage to the box, but when you buy it something brand new, you'd expect it to be in absolutely mint condition, especially when you're not actually on the shelf. They actually bring them to you from the warehouse. I can understand if you're going to Tesco's, they got a spider tags around the boxes and sometimes they get damaged when you go on a bit too tight, stop people slipping them off. But you know, Argos, you keep them out in your warehouse, you don't actually get to pick them up. And when you deliver them to you, you have a bit of damage. So it's a little bit disappointing. Doing that. So there you go guys, that's my haul. So the Spider-Man, the cameras, the Hogwarts, grounds, and the bush helmet. So of them all, I think the Harry Potter Hogwarts is my favourite. I think it's a really, really nice. It's a lot of detail, it's mini scale. You don't get no figures, like I said, but you get the architect goes at the figure. So I think that's really, really nice. And it's obviously unique to that set. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.